Hey again guys, it's uh, Gav again. Uh, tonight just a quick video, um, just, a, just a quick update on, um, on some stuff. Um, recently I uh, got in touch with Terrain Project. Um, he mentioned that he'd made some, uh, had some bits casted and things, and I've seen the stuff that he he's made in the, the church, for example, that he, he sent out in gun barrels, made up in hammer paints and stuff, so we got talking and I mentioned that I was, if at all possible, after some uh, kind of wall sections and things, because um, I've got a, a heavy mortar platoon for my British, late war British army to finish off, um, but I've stalled a bit just because I kind of put a bit too much effort into the base on the first one and never was able to quite replicate. And uh, so he very kindly was able to help out. So I'll show you in a minute what with what, but this is kind of what I'm trying to achieve. So here's the first base I made, and I was really pleased with it, but it's, uh, the walls were made from plastic card and things, and it just took ages to build, and I just didn't have the energy to, to do it again. So it was double layers of plastic card scored with, br with, scored with a brick pattern, um, and double layers put in so that, for example, here, you can uh, see the kind of inner wall bricks and then sort of a plaster effect just applied with filler on the outside um, and the same again you know just uh, scored and cut to look like floorboards on the top and a little ladder made and a broken door and, and some kind of paving effect on the outside so to mimic a street corner house almost I was really pleased with it but it was a lot of effort for for what it is um, but I was keen to do something else for the rest of the platoon, similar thing, because obviously the platoon has to be together, so... Um, he very kindly said he had some, some bits of a uh, broken wall, which I, I, I assume that he's cast up himself. Um, and so he very kindly agreed to send me some over, which I can then use in my bases to hopefully get the rest of this platoon finished. So, the package arrived today, all the way from Australia in just a few days, that's pretty damn good. So what we have is basically a selection of broken wall bits. Um, so there's two of, two of each type. Um, well, three of that one. So, and these are really, really nice. I mean, these are if you if you sculpted if you sculpted these yourself, mate. These are fantastic, honestly. Um, so we've got a wall section that's, uh, sorry, these two go together. The same bit there, just to, with the wall section with a tarp over it and a, a wheel behind it. Another corner section with lots of broken broken brick around and things. Um, either another wheel or a drain cover or something. Uh, a couple of different barrels, an oil drum or a wooden barrel and some other, some other wall sections. Some have got a wee few air bubbles in them, but no matter, I mean, tiny wee things. Anyway, thing. So hopefully, uh, and as you can see, the scale then compared to compared to the other base. There we go, focus. Uh, it looked really good. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's kind of driven me to get. That's one of the few units I've got to finish for this uh, British Army. Actually, it's just the rest of this platoon, the three other barrels. So I'm gonna get that done now. I think, and then I, when I get the time. But I'm kind of a bit more motivated to. Uh, to get that platoon finished off and um, now I've got some wall sections which hopefully will make my life a bit easier and I can maybe add on to it to get a similar effect to what I had before so yeah just a quick update and uh, once again really big thanks to Terrain Project much appreciated um, I'll make sure that they, they get put to good use and I'll be sure to to show you the uh, fruits of my labours um, right, until the next one then cheers